Uh, Josh, if you can uh, just give us uh, your emotions scoring the first goal in this brand new building. Yeah, I, I mean, I couldn't have made it harder on myself to put it <laughs> in, but a great pass from Silly, and it was a pretty special moment. I think you get an opportunity to score the first in this rank, it's something special, and, and that goes up to, to a lot of guys that played in this program before me. So first win, first shutout, first fan salute, what was it like? Unbelievable. Just playing in that environment, the energy in the building was, was unlike anything I've really experienced before. Um, and it was great. Shout out to Team Stat to me. So it uh, just goes to show that the guys were battling tonight. So, TJ, you were in bean pots and stuff like that. I mean, this, this is better than that. You know, it's, uh, it's a close comparison, I'd say. It's, it's good to be playing in front of the crowd like that. And just goes to show you how hockey deserves to be in the desert. With this being a new arena on campus and coach trying to build a, a hockey culture here at, in Tempe, did it surprise you guys to see that the, the fan section was already sold out, or the student section rather was sold out you know, a couple days in advance, and what did that mean to the team? Yeah, I mean, I think it, was, it wasn't as surprising as, as everyone would think. We, we kind of sold out Oceanside a couple times, and you can get people to go there. You can get people to go anywhere, especially when you put it right back in the middle of campus. So. I mean, growing up around here, you, you know hockey's definitely something that belongs here, and I think it kind of got proved tonight by, by the amount of people that showed up. Guys, if you could both answer this, what, what does an arena like this do for ASU from a recruiting standpoint when you talk to your peers? Yeah, so uh, I just, I think it's unbelievable. Like everybody said before, you know, the rink was the one thing that ASU was missing, and uh, I'm just super grateful that I'm here for the, the first year that we get to play here, and um, it's, it's really unbelievable for the program, and I think it's a huge step. Uh, it just goes to show all the hard work that the coaches and staff and uh, Mr. Mullet and other people that, that we owe credit to, to behind the scenes that made this happen. Yeah, I think like TJ said, it's probably the one thing this program was missing. They had the coaching and the success away from, from an arena, and they're getting kids now slowly that, that, are, that are real hockey players. You see our class that came in this year, they've been – a lot of them have been committed for a while, and for them to come in and, and serve right away in this, this organization and this arena is huge. But I think it just further shows that, that development will come and, and players are going to want to come here. There's not a kid that's going to come here and not be kind of fulfilled with what he's looking for when he sees the facilities and everything that we got. So I think it just takes this program to another level. Josh, was your dad here? And did he say anything? Yeah, he, he was here. I just gave him a hug and, and then kind of quickly got away and, and came here. So I got a hug out of him. That's about it. <laughs> Question for both of you, can you walk us through um, the, your whole game day and what it was like in the locker room? Um, Coach Powers said that there were some special things going on, so can you just walk us through um, that whole process leading up to the game? Yeah, I think it was definitely exciting. I mean, it's something we've been looking forward to for a while now. We had Dom Garcia came in before the game and, and did the starting lineup, and that's been something that's kind of been a big deal in this organization for a while. He, he does a good job getting everyone going, but there was more game day skate. Everything was the first, so. Everything had to be dialed from, from the beginning. Uh, Coach Powers emphasized as soon as we got back from Bemidji, we had a, a quick talk before we headed home that this week is huge and important, and everything's got to turn to, to game one. And I think a lot of guys took that approach properly, and we came out pretty good, and I think it's just going to continue from here. Can you? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no worries. I, uh, like you said, everything was first. Uh, this week, it was great to be able to move into the rink and, and get used to the new facility. Um, but it was great going out there, and there was a little light show and some other fun stuff. So they've really taken everything to the next level here. Can you just put into words what that moment was like stepping out on the ice for the first time and seeing, you know, the, the sold out building? It was a great feeling, like just looking around and seeing all the fans that came to support. I mean, the energy in the building tonight was unbelievable, and um, you know, ASU is a hockey school, so <laughs> you placed that pretty perfectly. But yeah, it was cool. I mean. There was a couple of us that walked out before before going out, seeing the student section was already pretty full, and we had students camping out last night before. So, I mean, it just goes to show that the, the students want hockey here, and if, if we can be better and, and continue to win, then they'll continue to grow. But, I mean, it, it, it was cool, but I don't think it surprised too many people that it was sold out. It was, it was something a lot of people were looking forward to. For either one of you, how much emphasis from the coaching staff was kind of placed on this first series at home? Was there a little bit of extra motivation, obviously, maybe with this being the first series here. Yeah, I think it was obviously a, an approach that they took, and as a player, it was something that we had to give back to guys that had, had played in Oceanside all four of their years, and and guys that we all kind of look up to that that I got the chance to play with last year that put blood, sweat, and tears in, into Oceanside. So 
to not come out and get a couple of wins would, would be a letdown for us. And I think it all started with the focus on game one and, and getting the first one, but now it kind of takes to the next game and, and now I prepare for tomorrow. How much are some of those new guys kind of starting to blend in? We saw kind of that first peak at home here tonight, but how are those freshmen kind of building in the program so far? Yeah, I think the freshmen and obviously the transfers are, are huge. You've seen what TJ's done so far, and, and we're very thankful that, that we got them. But uh, everyone's been adjusting so well. I mean, the Jacksons, Tej, Silly, and then even even all the freshmen. It, it goes to show that that a lot of guys that a lot of guys were worked hard to blend into this group, and, and they want to be here, which is the most important part. And when guys want to be here, it kind of blends easier. Yeah, thankful to be here. Like yeah. I mentioned, in that I transferred here, but um, the freshmen and just coming here, it seems like everybody's super bought in, and that's something that I really love about this program. And you can see that just all up and down the lineup. You know, freshmen coming in and filling a role and doing a great job right away. Josh, in your time here, you've had a couple different centers and wings out there with you on that top line with Colin Tyson and, and, and Cops been on the other wing and things like that. What about these two guys both being transfers out there with you? What has that chemistry been like? And, and can you just describe um, being out there on the ice with two guys like that? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're world-class players. I live with Mastro, so it's been easy to, to build chemistry with him. And, and Lucas has been a guy that I've known for a while now. But I think it's it's slowly just growing. I mean, when you play with two new guys rather than just one new guy, you can you can kind of feel the 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 I mean, loss of communication at times. But as the season's gone on, we we felt more comfortable, and and they're both extremely smart hockey players. So it's not hard to to find them. And obviously, Silly made a sick pass to me, and not very many people can find that that seam and, and float a puck through like that. And then I think the two of them. Sauce one in front of the air and they'll embed it out of midair to each other and <laughs> those are plays you just don't see so I'm very fortunate to get an opportunity to play with those guys. And how helpful is it for you Good also guys. being on the power play with those guys on that same unit where you can kind of I guess get those extra reps with them and then also be out there with them on the main advantage? Yeah I think the power play is all about confidence when, when you get a power play it's it's a time where you can you can make plays with the puck and you have more time so to be able to make plays with them and, and get more puck touches with them I mean, it makes a huge difference so I think that helps a ton. Okay, thanks guys.